In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set yourselves up on HiveOS, either using a portable SSD or using a USB drive and how you can manage all your rigs hassle-free. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a summary on HiveOS and give you guys some understanding and some reasons why you would want to jump and change your rigs over to HiveOS if you haven't already. So as you can see here, um, if we scroll down, you can manage all of your farms efficiently with Hive on OS. So that basically means in a nutshell, as long as you set all of your rigs to mine on HiveOS, either by setting yourself up with an SSD, a portable one, or even using a USB hard drive. I mean, you can you can even use an old Fatback uh, HDD if you would like to uh, but like I said in the video that I'm going to be showing you today it's just going to be simply how to connect yourself up using a thumbstick or you know if you've got a, an adapter on a portable SSD but you'll be able to manage all of your farm in one nice little neat little dashboard and you'll have all your little workers that you'll be able to go on there and you'll be able to I mean one of the main best things that you'll be able to do is set all your flight sheets and your flight sheet has all of your bat file information such as your wallet address the pool that you can be mining on and you know things along those lines and you'll be able to set that and you'll be able to set that to all of your workers really really quick and change all of them to mine to that serial cryptocurrency straight away without without spending too much time and then also as well at the same time which i think is a, also a cool factor as well is you'll be able to do all the overclocks and things like that a lot more efficiently so if you're somebody that has a large farm of you know x y and z of different gpus you'll be able to set your overclocks and set all your you know your flight sheets for all your rigs pretty much either just from your mobile phone or just from your dashboard on your computer whilst you're setting up your phone. Connect thousands of devices with the ASIC hub. So you can also set up your ASICs to the HiveOn network as well. And you can also even invite uh, your friends and increase your income. So share your link with your mates and get 10% from your referral payments each time they deposit so i'm assuming that'll be for if you was to pay your monthly fee for your rigs so i will be leaving a referral link for you guys down in the description and let's have a look over on the pricing as we're on that topic of things so as you can see here for myself personally i'm currently using the zero dollars a month limit to four workers and you can mine on pretty much all of the pools and everything like that and there is a cost there, mining Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin and Casper on a non hive and pool costs $3 per rig. So make sure you do take that into account. But like I say, if you do have more than four workers, you'll be able to set yourself up for $3 a month per rig, or you'll be able to do that for a ASIC. As I say, you can take yourself over to HiveOn and take a little bit more information, have a little bit more of a look through this. But like I say, for myself personally, because I don't have that many rigs set up for this, um, I won't be paying monthly for this but like i say if those of you out there are paying monthly for it great good for you and i'll leave a link for you guys down in the description if you haven't already signed up and you can sign yourself up okay so let's get started and let me show you guys how you can set yourself up to mine on hive os so if we click on the link that i'll leave for you guys down in the description it'll be a hiveon.com and the referral code there at the end i'll press on the get started register yourself with google it's a very very simple way to get yourself started up very very easy or register with your email address create yourself a new account once you have created yourself a new account take yourself over on to your farms page and at the top of your screen you will see a plus button just like this now all you're going to need to do is grab the presser button and type in the name of your new farm so I'm going to put in here test bench 2. I'm going to save that as that. Now, for myself personally, I'm going to be setting up a GPU rig uh, with a CPU on there. But like I said, if you do an ASIC, you can click on the add ASIC option and go through from these sections here. Very, very simple to do. If you do need any more information or you'd like to see anything more on that, drop that down in the comment section. But for the GPU rig side of things, all you need to do is press on the add ring, uh, add rig. So if you see here, there's th uh, three different options. Now, if you do take yourself through these different options here, they can take a little bit more time and um, when I've been through onto this section here before um, you'd have to download an etcher go through there and, con uh, and change your um, your config your rig config example but if you do it this way the simple way it will do everything like that for yourself so if you click on the installation depending on which of the OS you have we're going to go with Windows we're going to press on download 
This should download very, very quick. It's only 5.8 megabytes. If we open this up, click yes on there, and it will give us an option for select the disk image. Now, we're gonna obviously wanna click on the most recent and the newest. We're gonna press on continue. It says enter your farms farm hash. Now, to get your farm hash, it's very, very simple to do. So what we're gonna to need to do is take ourselves back over to our farm. I'm just gonna duplicate the, duplicate the tab take myself back over to my settings. Now this will be blurred for you guys, but as you can see here, there is a code right there. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the farm hash that you just took from your settings, paste that into the enter farm hash, make sure that you select on the correct USB drive that you're gonna be using for your uh, Hive OS operating system. So like I said for myself, I've used a 32 gigabyte Kingston USB stick. It's pretty good. Just make sure that you put it into a good USB port and don't wobble it around or anything like that. Make sure it stays stable. So press on flash drive. Now all we really need to do at this point is just wait for the flash device OS to be flashed onto the USB stick. And then from there, what we're gonna do is take that USB stick plug that into the rig of our choice. We're gonna make sure that the hard drives that was already installed into the rigs are removed, any other USB sticks that could conflict or affect with setting up on this OS, and we're just gonna plug in that USB stick and go from there. So I'm gonna jump back when this finishes and we'll go from there. Okay, so I did mess up the clip there to show that it was 100% completed and downloaded onto the USB stick. But what we're gonna to need to do is just safely remove your USB stick from your computer once it has finished loading on the HiveOS image on there. And what we're gonna do is gonna take this over to the rig that you have now set up for HiveOS. We'll plug this into the USB port, make sure that we remove any of the original USBs in there, any hard drives or anything like that, so nothing conflicts at all. Uh, potentially you may need to go into your BIOS to make sure that it boots up from USB sticks. But with mine already set up with the Hive OS and the BIOS to you know boot on a USB stick, I'm gonna go plug this into the computer and hopefully we will see this pop up and appear onto our Hive OS dashboard that you see in front of me right here. Okay, so taking a look over at the rig that we're going to be setting up on Hive OS, what we're going to need to do, as I said before in the previous clip, make sure that you remove all of your hard drives, maybe any USB sticks or anything like that that could conflict with it. As I say and mentioned before, make sure to check that your uh, your BIOS settings are set up correct so that it runs off USB sticks. But this is the USB that we loaded with Hive OS, so I'm going to pop that into one of the high speed. USB ports that we have on the computer and I'm just going to press the power so as you see it's powering up as usual and assume that everything has been set up correctly we should see this pop up on our dashboard. Okay, Time. so back onto our dashboard. As you can see, something has now popped up. It has auto-populated a rig ID name for our rig for us. And as you can see here, it's got a red little rocket which says it is missing a flight sheet. So that means all you really need to do at this point is just make sure that you access the worker. And if you've got any flight sheets or anything like that set up already, you can just basically click on the run rocket and get yourself mined up on those cryptocurrencies as well as for your CPU and for your GPU. Right, so there you have it guys. You should now be successfully set up on Hive OS. As I say, if you have any questions or any comments on how you can set yourself up, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. Feel free to jump into our community Discord. I will be leaving all the links for how to set yourself up and even as well so that you can go through and sign yourself up on Hive OS and like I say, guys, there is a bit of a 10% kickback if you end up being one of the people that sign up and use and connect up more than four rigs. But like I said, the overall thing for HiveOS is you can use this for free if you have less than four workers on there at the time. So like I say, guys, check all the links down in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.